And what we can say is that we have obviously our long facial axis of the face, the long axis. Ideally, the upper center line should lie exactly on this facial axis. And obviously, the lower center line should lie exactly on the facial axis. And upper center line and lower center line should be coincident too. So all three lines should be coincident. That's the gold standard, obviously. This is not what we see in all our cases. And this is not really what everyone recognizes at, as important. So we can look at a nice study made by Kokichin and others. Um, and they found out that there may be a deviation allowed from one or the other center line. That doesn't mean you can do what you want, definitely not. But there are some certain rules we should apply and we can follow. So when we say we have a center line of the face here, it will be allowed for the upper center line to be slightly off by a maximum of two millimeters. What did they do in the studies when they looked at it? They had different deviations from the center line and they had some orthodontists, dentists and lay people uh, look at it to find out what's most attractive, what do they like, uh, um, what would they change? Uh, and they found out there's a corridor of plus minus two millimeters uh, of a deviation, which seems to be okay for everyone. Same again in the lower. The lower can have a deviation of two millimeters to the one or the other side from the facial axis. That doesn't mean the upper can be two millimeters off to that side, the lower two millimeters off to that side, because upper and lower need to be in a range of two millimeters too. So if you go two millimeters to that side and lower two millimeters to that side, you have four in total between them, which is not allowed, needs to be again a corridor of two millimeters. 